What's up, beautiful people? In this video series, we take a look at the story and context around a famous historical photograph. Today, we are looking at this photo of your homeboy, Harry Truman, cheesing it up while holding up a newspaper that got its headlines all kinds of wrong. More importantly, we're going to examine why Truman is showing off that big old Colgate smile. Now for the background. Most experts predicted that Harry Truman would lose the election of 1948. Truman was behind in numerous polls, most of which showed him losing to the Republican candidate for president, Thomas Dewey. Thomas Dewey made a name for himself as a famous prosecutor in New York. He prosecuted many of the big time gangsters of the 1930s, including Lucky Luciano. Dewey eventually became governor of New York in 1942, and in 1944, he ran for president against Franklin Roosevelt. This election was FDR's fourth time running for president and the time he chose Harry Truman to serve as his vice president. Unfortunately for the Republicans and Dewey, FDR is elected to a fourth term. And of course, Truman would become president when FDR died on April 12th, 1945, just a few months after he was sworn in for a historic fourth term. The former senator from Missouri had a lot on his plate now that he was president. He had to deal with finishing up World War II, including the decision to use the atomic bomb, and when the war was over, he had to deal with the beef between the US and the Soviet Union. Besides the challenge of keeping his body looking like this, Truman faced some challenges during the post-war period. Following the end of World War II, demobilization took place, therefore unemployment increased, inflation increased, and labor unrest increased, Republicans took control of Congress for the first time in 14 years, and another problem for Truman was the fact that the Democratic Party was divided. Truman's support for civil rights, such as his authorization of Executive Order 9981, which ended segregation in the U.S. military, led many Southern Democrats to create the party that becomes known as the Dixiecrats. And in 1948, the Dixiecrats will run Strom Thurmond for president against Truman. Needless to say, things did not look good for Truman going into the campaign for president in 1948. He was expected to lose. Nevertheless, Truman did not curl up at a ball and ugly cry himself to sleep. Truman decided to travel across America by train on a whistle-stop tour. He gave speeches outlining his liberal agenda and denounced the Republicans in Congress who he accused of doing nothing to help the American people. In spite of all these predictions of Truman's defeat, good old Harry pulled off the incredible electoral victory. Truman ended up with 303 electoral votes and he managed to capture 49.6% of the popular vote, which leads us back to this famous photograph. This photo was taken two days after election day. Truman was on his way back to Washington from his home state of Missouri, and the train he was on stopped in St. Louis. At the train station, Truman got his hands on a copy of the two-day-old Tribune newspaper and held it up with this big old Colgate smile. So what in the heck happened? Well, on election day, the Tribune sent the post-election issue of the newspaper to press earlier than they usually did. There was a printer strike, so they wanted it to get out a bit early, and the editors were confident that the polls were right and Dewey would win the election. As you can see, several versions of the moment were captured on camera, and you know a photo is famous if the Simpsons spoof it. So that's gonna do it. That's the story of Truman smiling with the newspaper. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we will be back next week with a look at another famous photo in history. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace.